Hi guys, so it has been a busy month here for me with Xiaomi releases and we have one more to check out. This is the Mi 6X, also probably known as the A2, but the A2 has not been announced yet, but it could be coming in just a few months. And it will be identical hardware wise to this mobile phone, at least it should be, going by the 5X and then the A1, they were the same exact hardware. But of course they changed the software on it. So that model will have Android one stock Android. This has Android 8.1 on here with MIUI 9.5 skin on top of it. So this is a mobile phone that has a two by one aspect ratio screen. It is 5.99 inches. The resolution is 2160 by 1080. My model's got six gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. And the chipset is the Snapdragon 660. It's got dual cameras on the rear. One is 12 megapixels, the other is 20, used for the depth effect portrait mode, the blurred backgrounds, and in low light. There's also a 20 megapixel front facing camera as well with an LED flash too. So let's get this unwrapped here and check it out in greater detail. So I bought this particular model here from AliExpress. The seller is Goldway, Hong Kong and ask them to send it completely factory sealed for me. So if you don't ask them to do this, they will actually open them up and they will install Google Play for you. Okay, so let's get this unboxed. So we have some Chinese writing there. I have no idea what that says at all. If you let us know in the comments. So here we go. This is, of course, you can see. Wow, that camera, first impressions. Look how much that protrudes. Wow, that's a little bit more than normal. It's the first thing that's actually hit me, but that build quality seems really good. Very, very similar to the Redmi Note 5. In fact, they share the same front, it seems. Pretty much exactly the same, isn't it? Take a look at the weight of it. So it is 1.69 grams. The Redmi Note 5 is 1.83 grams, but that's got 1,000 milliamp hours more of battery. So 7.5 millimeters thin without that massive camera bump. I would have rather one millimeter more and less camera bump. So let's take a look at it. Oh, wow. So <laughs> that is massive. And why that surprised me when I first unboxed it is because look at this. This is the Redmi Note 2 again. So side by side, you can see there the difference in the bump. That one only sticks out by a millimeter and this one is almost two millimeters there. And when you have a look at both the back of these devices, they're very, very similar. But of course we don't have the full unibody housing on the Redmi Note 5. So before I go over the design of the phone, let's just take a look at the charger we get included. So obviously it is a Chinese style, the two prong. Now this is rated to five volts, two amps. So it's not Qualcomm's quick charge, the output of it, but it should the phone support quick charge three. I will test that out. And here of course we have the cable. So this one is a grayish color, our USB to type C. And right in here, We've just got a couple of things of course we have that adapter that we're going to need so the 3.5 millimeter to type c and they do include a case so just like the readme note 5 we're going to get one of these tpu style cases the quality of these cases is okay i mean it's good for just a first temporary case before you get yourself something a little better so along the top here we have an ir transmitter and the secondary microphone used for voice calls and noise cancellation so down the bottom we have a loudspeaker, microphone, Type-C port, two Torx screws holding the unibody housing in place. You can just see the antenna lines here, so they're quite discreet, a little bit hard to make out, but you can just see them. And I'll rear fingerprint read it. Now this is metal here on the back. It's quite slippery, matte coating on it. So you do want to use that case really, so you've got more grip. Show you that camera module again. I just still can't get over how much that sticks out. It is quite ugly. So one of these sensors is 20 megapixels. The other is 12. We have a dual tone LED flash there in the middle. Very similar to the setup that is on the Redmi Note 5. And that SIM tray just takes two nano SIMs. No micro SD card support, unfortunately. So just powering it on for the first time. Get rid of that. Screen protector that's just used in transit. So MIUI 9 and just English at the moment. There will be a global ROM for this out later on. 
So to quickly point out here, I've got the six gigabytes of RAM that I ordered, of course, Android 8.1, and we have just over 51 gigabytes of free storage. And to quickly show you the camera sensor information, so we have two Sony IMX 376s, they're the 20 megapixel sensors, then the main sensor on the rear is the IMX 486. Okay, so I just ran triple check, this is requested a lot, and it's only system partition A, so not A and B like the Black Shark. Now I point this out a lot in all of my videos, literally. If you're buying the Chinese ROM version, then expect this Chinese bloatware. Now most of it you can remove, which is good. You just simply need to uninstall those bloatware apps. So here's a look at the Antutu score. So it's the phone right here in the middle. This is the 6X. This is the Redmi Note 5. And it shows you just how good the Snapdragon 636 really is. This, in fact, is my preferred phone, my favorite phone right now at the moment, at the time of this video. And this is the Snapdragon 625 in the Mi Max 2. You can see quite a bit slower here. And these two here are Snapdragon 845. So we have the Black Shark and the Mix 2S right here. And to answer that question about quick charging, yes, it does support Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3. You just have to use another charger because the one included is not a Quick Charge 3 charger. So quickly to comment on my first impressions of the ROM performance. It's good. I've encountered no bugs so fast. It's very fluid, very fast switching between apps and things. I had to install Google Play, of course, because it doesn't come with it. And it's a bit of a lengthy process. I just actually, what I did is restore a backup from the Redmi Note 5. And that was easier, easiest and quickest way to get set up there. But it's very, really good, the performance. I can't really tell too much of a difference between the Snapdragon 636 and the 660. They really do feel to me, at least in the UI, about the same performance wise. Taking a look at the screen now. So I've got it side by side here with the Redmi Note 5 because they're basically the same kind of screen. So they're both IPS panels, both have 2160 by 1080 resolution and they really look identical to me. I can see no real difference in them. The brightness seems to be exactly the same. I do believe it's the same exact hardware panel they have used in here. So this is the the 6X right here. And overall, it's a good screen. Deep enough blacks for an IPS. You're not going to get any deeper, not deeper as AMOLED deep. No, of course not. But it is good, I feel, for the price of this phone. The category is a mid-ranger. Still a decent screen here. And overall, looking good, the panel. So we just have the one loudspeaker on the bottom. There's no loudspeaker in that earpiece there whatsoever. So I'll play you a sample track now and the output of this, it's loud, it sounds decent enough and it's even better than the Mi Mix 2S flagship's loudspeaker. Having a look at some gaming now, so this is the new title, Dungeon Hunter Champions. It's only just released. And it's running this perfectly fine, as you'd expect for the Adreno 512 GPU. I'll demonstrate the fingerprint reader. So it's always on, you just simply touch it, unlocks really, really quick. This is as fast as the Redmi Note 5. The Redmi Note 5 Plus, the Redmi Note 5, the Chinese version, the same exact finger sensor hardware, and it takes under half a second, really, really quick. So I'll quickly demonstrate face unlocking. Now, this is not as secure, and it's saying it cannot recognize me. There we go. It took a little while. It's because I've got the camera in the way, but I've also noticed that it doesn't seem quite as good as the Redmi Note 5 for some reason, the face unlocking. So no first hands-on and unboxing from me would be complete without having a look at the camera. So MIUI 9.5 camera app here. Yes, we do have portrait mode on the front camera. We also do have a LED flash here. So you can turn that on. You can see right there, it's very bright. Now this is a 4,500K LED flash. They're almost neutral white there. Neutral white's considered to be 5,000K Kelvin. And if you have a look at video modes here, well, on the front-facing camera, it's only 1080p on the front-facing camera. On the rear, we get up to 4K. So the settings here, very similar to other Xiaomi mobiles like the Redmi Note 5, 4K. At least we do have image stabilization is enabled, 
But again, I don't actually think it's working. It doesn't look to work at all in 4K at the moment. This is a problem I've discovered with the Mi Mix 2S and even the Black Shark mobile phone doesn't seem to work either. But I'll give you some samples now from the camera, a couple of portrait mode sh shots as well, and some video. And now this is a sample from the front facing camera. So that's 20 megapixels. I think the aperture is f2.2 or 2.0. And yes, my face is a little bit overexposed here. Uh, but at least we are actually getting some details of the clouds you can see. So this is doing better than the Black Shark and the Mi Mix 2S. So right now I'm shooting using the stock camera application and it doesn't have electronic image stabilization. Even though it's enabled, it's clearly not working. So you have to use open camera for that. I'll give you a sample of that, but just look at this guy here. What is this idiot doing? He's really close to buildings and things. Uh, to me that just looks like a recipe for disaster. So this is now with open camera and you can see a huge difference. So very similar to the Redmi Note 5. We've got really good stability here, even though it's only electronic. There's a bit of wind noise, of course, being picked up on the microphones. It's really windy here, but overall impressive stability here. Not bad considering I am walking. So there we go, that is the Mi 6X, and first impressions, well, it's got a decent screen, it's really good, it's just as good as the Note 5, and the battery life, well, we know it's going to be less than the Note 5, don't we, because it's a thousand milliamp hours less, which is a shame, they made it one millimeter slimmer to give us less battery life and a larger camera bulge. I don't understand Xiaomi's engineers, their designers, why they went with that choice. Okay, the unibody is nice. It's got a Type-C port on here. But I do believe so far, with my time on with this, which is basically just half a day now, that I feel the Redmi Note 5 is still the one to go for. That one has a better camera. Main camera focus is much better. Better electronic image stabilization. It also has FM radio, micro SD card support, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Xiaomi, if they combined the unibody housing, the Type-C port with the Redmi Note 5, they would have the best phone then, all rounder, but they're giving us these segregated different releases, which doesn't really make sense to me. But overall, it's looking good. If this is gonna be the Xiaomi A2, it looks good, but there's just those cons there that I listed. But other than that, the build quality is excellent. It does look like it does have at least good cameras. You can see it will take a very nice photo with both of those cameras. You can get the depth effect, now, I will test out the battery life gaming. A lot more tests will be coming in the full review. I also wanted to comment on, I've got the Black Shark on hand at the moment. The Black Shark is their gaming device from Xiaomi, but I can only review one mobile at a time for a week. I need to use it for a week. So which one do you want to see first? Do you want to see the Mi 6X first or the Black Shark? Please let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty more up and coming. Also Xiaomi's Mi Gaming laptop next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.